to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with another roster update video. Had a lot of people commenting on the last video and hitting me up asking for a vindication version of the roster update. If you guys missed our MDT live roster update from yesterday, definitely go check it out. Basically, what we're doing is running through the roster of vindication and MDT live and I'm breaking down the figures that represent the characters of the roster and telling you guys how we're going to replace the certain figures that you might have seen last time with current updated figures that are much better that we have gotten over the time since the last pick that episode so that's kind of what we got going on here today vindication is the blue brand opposite of the pink and black brand of mdt live but here up front we do have the elite champion kenny omega you guys know that a lot of aew and rivaled figures have come and gone and i gotta be honest with you there was a lot more replacements on mdt live i'm gonna be real with you some of these figures in here really can't be touched but some of them are and i think they are worth noting and i did want to do a vindication version but anyway Anyways, man, starting out first with our MDT Elite Champion, we got to start off with, with the cleaner right here. And Kenny Omega, I have to go, you know, it's easy. I could just roll with this. It wouldn't be the biggest deal, but I think the only way to do so is going to be with the good old AEW Supreme Collection Kenny. Now, I'm not going to be using this head sculpt. I'll probably be using the, you know, the Unmatched Series 1 and, and those kinds of head sculpts. I doubt I'll be, I definitely won't be using the blue hair, not at this juncture with the handlebar mustache. I think that with the added, you know, no, you got the pinless joints, you got the butterfly joints. Oh, God in heaven. That was almost terrible. That's the second roster video in a row. I've almost done that BS. But I'll have two, or I, I won't have two different gears. I'll have a bunch of different gears I can use, but I will be using the torso, arms, and everything from the Supreme. I think that's the best thing to do for Kenny Omega. It just makes the most sense, man. I mean, why, why wouldn't you, you know? I mean, it makes the most sense. Same thing for Cody right here. This is the AEW Unrivaled Series 1B Cody, and while this is solid, there's so many different Cody's you could replace it with, by, but why why wouldn't you? Why would you not replace it with the Supreme? Because it does have the added neck tattoo. It's got a lot more articulation. You're dealing with a toe pivot. You got the butterfly joints. Much better. It even has his entrance coat, so you can do his full entrance. You know, we have the Elite coming. We also have the Ultimate coming. We have multiple arrays of Cody that we can use, so I'm not going to run out of Cody's, but I'm, I'm going to use the Supreme at first. Could change at a later date. Maybe I'll use the Ultimate or the Elite. I can see myself using the Elite down the line, but for now, I will be using the Supreme more than likely. So I will be replacing the Iron Man Champion, which is right here, the Iron Man Champion Cody. This belt's going to look fantastic on the Supreme figure. I can't wait to see what that looks like in the MDT arena, all those different things. So we do have the Iron Man Champion. He's looking really great. Supreme, Cody, and Kenny will be making their way into the pick fed. Next up, we have the Young Bucks here. They are the MDT Tag Team Championships. Not the championships. These are the championships, you dumb F and wide. These are the championships over here. They are the champions who hold these championships. For them, there are options to this. You know, we've gotten a hand select few of Bucks. I don't know what the hell I'm saying there, but until we get their Supremes in hand, these are my favorite Bucks. I like the blue, gold, and white. They really stand out. They match Vindication. They kind of match the whole brand deal there. I like these heads on here. I like this version. The Series 7 are garbage. The Series 1 are garbage. The 2-pack isn't terrible. I might switch the Matt Jackson head sculpt on here. Maybe play around with that, you know, but these are the best Bucks, I think. These are the best Bucks we've seen thus far. And I think I'm, I'm cool with that. I can live with that. Next up is AJ Styles. Now, until we get our new AJ Styles, the Ultimate Edition, which for the love of God, I cannot wait for that AJ Styles. I will absolutely be buying a bunch of that and I will be using that in the pick fed. No doubt about it. This formula sucks for AJ Styles. That has double jointed arms. It's got beefier legs. It's got a beautiful torso, beautiful head sculpt, beautiful attire. That AJ Styles is going to be in the top five Ultimates next year. No doubt about it. I don't even know what all we're getting next year, but I will definitely be using that but until we get that, man, I'm just going to be using an array of different AJ Styles because all of them are kind of bleh. And I'm just going to be picking my litter of them and uh, Revolutionary Champion is going to be, you know, kicking ass. Somebody that I actually forgot about that debuted on the last episode of Vindication was Adam Page. And I'm just going to be using the Series 5 for that one. It's nothing out of the ordinary. You guys saw that one debut, so I will be keeping that one the same. Bray Wyatt is another one that I'll be keeping the same here. This is a fix-up Ultimate Edition version I made. I put the Elite 54 legs on the Ultimate Fan painted the crotch black and then put the jacket arms in there and gave him like a promo gear right here you could easily pull these arms out and put the tattoo arms in with hands and you'll have a wrestling gear version very very easy stuff to do and it's got great articulation it feels good in the hand it poses around really well this is easily the best bray i don't have to switch him out at all next up orange cassidy uh orange cassidy's a bit weird man i've said it multiple times
times with talking with Jazzwares employees and stuff that the next time they make Orange Cassidy, I think it's in like Series 14 or something, I told them they need to give him this exact leg mold, except make it where the legs are fully articulated. Do not do the pocket feature. You know, make it sort of like the Supreme Kenny. And I saw my boy Balor Figs UK actually take the torso of this guy and plug it into the Unmatched Series 5 Kenny, and he used that as his Orange Cassidy, which isn't bad, but I joked with him, and I was like, be a real man fed with this thing. It's very challenging. You guys know that I have my cut-up version, and that's how he made his debut versus the Fashion Popo, but I'm going to be rolling with this until we get an updated version, and I may use that, you know, that Unmatched Series 5 Orange Cassidy. We'll have to see, but a lot of people are probably wondering if I'm going to use the Supreme Malachi for Aleister Black, and I'm going to be honest with you. I'm on the fence here. I do not know who to use. Obviously, the Malachi does have double jointed arms. He's got, you know, great gear and accessories and stuff like that. But this one towers over this one, and I feel like this one may be more accurate to the source material. I like the way the tattoo placement looks. I like the head sculpts. I, I like a lot of things going on over here. I do not know what I'm going to do. What I probably will end up doing is seeing how both of them look in the shot. I may test some, like, poses around and maybe do, like, a test match or a sequence with my phone camera or something and just to see what it looks like and see if I like it because if I don't like it I'm not going to run with it so we will have to wait till a later date to see if uh, you know which one I use but I really like the Mattel Elite the Elite 73 the Elite 85 I did add some height to my Alistair's so they're actually supposed to be smaller than this because he is Alistair Black in the pig fed he's not Malachi Black he is Alistair Black so we will just have to see we're going to have to play this one by ear but don't be shocked if you see the Elite Alistair Black instead of the Supreme Malachi Black popping up in the pick fed. Next up, we do have Harper and Rowan. A lot of people are probably wondering if I'm going to use Brody Lee. At this juncture, I'm just going to roll with Luke Harper. He's still Harper. I'm not going to retire him from the pick fed. Rest, rest in peace to Brody Lee and everything like that. I feel like it pays more respect to him and everything like that to continue on telling his story in the pick fed. And until that story is over, I'm definitely going to keep him in the fed. I'm going to keep fedding with him. I think he's fantastic. He's put on great matches in the fed. Had a great tag team match at Hell's Gate. And uh, I love this, this fix up. This Luke Harper figure. This Brody Lee looks fantastic and he poses around great. I know he only has single jointed arms, but I'm going to use this figure until a later date. Maybe I'll switch to, to the unrivaled or the unmatched version, but both of these guys actually pose around really, really well. I mean, if I can figure out a way to get double jointed arms on both of them, maybe I'll switch those out just to be able to give myself double jointed arms, but these two pose around really, really well. I like their head sculpts and they're going to be hard to replace. I actually like these guys a lot. Next up, a lot of guys right here, man. I mean, you're not looking at a lot of replacement. Like I said, I mean, a lot of these are going to be just changing the arms to double jointed. Like the Fashion Popo over here. We're not going to get updated elites of either of these guys. The only thing you can do is switch their arms with double jointed arms using existing figures. And that may be what we have to do. But these guys do pose around nice. I've enjoyed my work with these guys. And if, uh, if we do end up replacing them... I will use double jointed arms, you know, we'll, we'll try to do that. Speaking of which, we have Sheamus or, or the Wyatt Colt. Let's just bring the whole Wyatt Colt up here. You have the Ascension who are in the Wyatt Colt. You got Big Cass over here. I need to replace these arms anyway, but uh, all these guys except for Sheamus. Sheamus, you could, technically you could replace him with the new Elite 97 Sheamus. Put this Sheamus, like take off all the gear and then put this over here. That rhymed unintentionally, but he's in the black and white gear, which I think would look really, really dope in the, you know, in the Wyatt Colt mechanic suit or whatever the hell you want to call that. I mean, it's get the point there, but this figure's formula is just like this one, except this one has single jointed arms and the head sculpts like smiling. Kind of creepy. I thought it worked, but I don't know. We'll, we'll play around with that, but I, I wouldn't be shocked. I'm trying to track... I've been trying to track down another Elite 97 Sheamus to copy because I want to use this one for my current roster shelf and then I want to have one to put in the pig fed with a double jointed arm, so that's probably something we'll do there, and uh, that will be a valid replacement. Great head sculpt on that guy great formula, all those things. Next up is going to be Shinsuke Nakamura. I love this figure. Like, low-key, very fire figure. It's been posing around great. I've had a ton of fun with this. I have some ideas for a fix-up, but you guys do, do know that we got the Elite 96 Shinsuke in the all-white gear, and he does have double-jointed arms. I might put black wrist tape double-jointed arms on this guy, or maybe I'll just roll with the white gear and interchange, or maybe put the blue shirt over here with the blue armband, kind of make a blue and white gear, or maybe put the black kick pads over here, Maybe I can find some blue kick pads and put those in here and then have, you know, the blue arm band with the, the blue belt and, like, I don't know, just mix and match these two figures to kind of make a really cool attire. I might do that. We'll have
we'll have to see but i really like this figure man i think that's the ultimate edition head sculpt on here i don't think this this figure came with this head it may have i don't even remember i can't remember but this guy's got some underrated figures man they be they be killing it over there next up we do have rusev now he is rusev and we got not only rusev this is rusev day the tag team you have aiden english and you have rusev and you could replace it with miro to be honest with you you could do it with the aew unrivaled miro i mean this figure feels really good in the hand i feel like you could pose it around really really well but he does have the tnt you know logos on there i'd have to get another one acetone that off or switch some parts around or something i'm not going to use the camo miro because it's very ugly maybe i could just put this head sculpt over here because i actually like the elite 65 rusev a lot i like the way the the build looks he's bigger he's beefier and stuff like that but this guy does probably pose around a little bit better than this one but they're both quality and and i don't know you know and uh i feel like sheamus elite 97 arms would be too big for this aiden english but i love this aiden english fix up man it's using a, a sheamus crotch and torso and shoulders and then we just put the battle pack or elite arms on here and then the head sculpt this is a fan this is one of the best fix up figures man if you're trying to make an elite aiden english for your display highly recommend man i mean this is this is gorgeous next up we have drew mcintyre i don't think we've seen him in the pick fed like this but this is how he's gonna look this is the best version of drew mcintyre you got the updated tan double jointed arms great looking head sculpt great looking gear drew mcintyre looks like a boss the miz again just just switching out the arms man i'm sure we're gonna get an elite miz soon we haven't had one announced i don't think in a minute so i don't know if we'll get one but again man the guys like this all these guys right here i mean all of these every single one of these besides a couple i mean all four of these guys could be replaced with double jointed arms there's white tape bare arms like this there's black tape skin tone arms like this black like that uh the sammy el generico just used the elite 91 sammy Zayn. so it's just a bunch of arm swaps i mean that's what it is at the end of the day and i, I don't mind doing that with these figures because we don't have updated elites i want to use this i like the elite 64 done over the elite what was it 75 done so i'm gonna roll with this one for now just switch out the arms and we're gonna roll with that one i think next up we have samoa and joseph i don't know if there's arms that you can really replace with these but the black and blue gear does look good johnny gargano probably some arms out there we could use don't have double jointed arms for him elias will he ever step foot in a pick fed ring again i don't know you know it remains to be seen maybe he will maybe he won't but those are three guys that are just gonna have to require double jointed arms again carl anderson and carl anderson and luke gallows uh, how the hell uh, with all these tattoos there's no way you can get double jointed arms people are probably gonna say oh use a super seven versions and i i just don't know about that one bradley that sounds like hell to me uh we do have the elite 92 adam cole here which is a great figure easily gonna be the you know the the adam cole to use i like it better than the unrivaled it feels better in the hand it's gonna pose around great i like the head sculpt i like the accessories i like the gear this is the figure i'm using i'm definitely not using the unrivaled and last but not least we used to have that old hurricane now we have the legends hurricane with the double jointed arms and this is definitely the hurricane we will use if he appears on mdt television this is the one to use no no doubts about that i have zero you know quarrels with that and that wraps up the roster man not a, a, again it is not the same as mdt live mdt live had a lot of updates to make i don't think vindication really needed it man there's a lot of figures that we could replace and put in here but a lot of these don't really have figures that could be replaced you know the the roster is quite different from mdt live where we've had a lot of options a lot of ways to update figures not the case over here for vindication but that is going to wrap up our roster update for vindication should be a very fun go home show when we reach there absolute lunacy i mean all the last few episodes of vindication have been absolute lunacy i mean uh, just unbelievable turn of events but we shall see how it goes i will figure out the best way to do these things i may just go on amazon and make a massive purchase order for all these figures and see if i can get all the parts in here i did get some like amazon gift cards and stuff for christmas maybe i could use that towards it and you know try to get all these figures in here so that we can fix up these figures and have the best versions of them that we can going into posing and filming these shows but that is going to wrap up today's video man hope you guys did enjoy leave me all of your thoughts down below on the vindication roster if you have i got some really cool ideas down in the mdt live roster update video if you guys have any of your own ideas you want to leave in the comment section of this video it'd be greatly appreciated but i'm getting out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i will see you guys in the next video have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. We'll never be